Hi everyone, Sam Rethmeyer here with the Wednesday Night Wine Club and this is the white wine video for November 2021. Let's get into it. All right everyone, very excited to get into the white wine for November. This is Domain Man 2019 Sylvaner. Uh, Mouton Blue translates to the blue sheep um, and this is coming from an area in France called Alsace. Alsace is located on the eastern border of France, kind of take basically Champagne and just keep going east. Used to be part of Germany after World War II, they seceded to France. Uh, and that area, Alsace is crazy because you're driving around France and the architecture kind of follows a similar vein. And then you pull into Alsace and everything goes German. Uh, the primary language that is spoken there is German. So it's, it's this very unique spot. Riesling is the king of Alsace the same way that it is the king in Germany. Sylvaner is a high yielding uh, grape, so it produces a lot of fruit, which typically means that the fruit itself is diluted. So the wine that is made tends to be very bland and really is meant for drinking to drink a lot. There's not a lot of complexity there. And you might be wondering, wait, why are you giving me essentially trash wine? Well, recently you are starting to see a lot of producers putting a lot of time and energy into kind of these lesser known grapes and producing some world-class wine. The other thing about Alsatian wine that is or can be frustrating from its German counterparts is Germany will alert you to whether a wine is sweet or not. Alsace doesn't really have those requirements. So what is interesting is on the back of the label here, um, bottom left hand corner, you actually see that they will, they, they tell you that this is a dry wine. They make wines that can be sweet, but this is in the dry category. Uh, so this is something that the winemaker has chosen to do to help you uh, be more informed about what you're drinking, which is very nice. Bonus, uh, this uh, domain man has been uh, practicing organic viticulture since 2008. They also hand harvest everything and the wines are vegan. So for all you vegans out there, don't have to worry about it. There are no bugs. They do not find the wine with egg whites. You are good to go. All right, now let's taste. Aromatically, this is a pretty uh, expressive example of Sylvaner. Sylvaner is not always like that. Again, the wines tend to be very bland. This is benefiting uh, from a vineyard that was planted 50 plus years ago. So there's a lot more complexity there than you would normally encounter. I get notes of pineapple, green apple, white flower, beeswax. This is a perfect wine for the fall and actually will be fantastic with Thanksgiving. Now on the palate, one of the first things that you notice is that this does have texture. If, you're, if you've ever had California Chardonnay before, this wine has a little bit of that weight that's there none of the oakiness this is aged only in stainless steel but there's that texture the weight but the acid creeps in as well now if you don't remember or uh, how to taste for acid or haven't done the acid test yet what you want to do is take a sip tilt your head back put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and you let the wine rest under your tongue and you count to two and then swallow and with high acid wines your body tends to want to do this Wow. Okay, that's so crazy. You feel that creep up your jaw. This is a fantastic food wine because of that acidity and the texture as well. The green apple, the pineapple definitely comes through. And again, I mentioned that texture kind of has that beeswax uh, minerality mixed in. Um, I'm still salivating, it's like great acid on this wine. Yeah, this is really, really fun. Okay, now what to pair with this? Pork chops are an automatic go-to for me, especially because pork and pineapple, great pairing. If you are like me and enjoy pineapple on your pizza, this is a great pizza wine in that case. I know there's some detractors there. You can't unsubscribe from the wine club just because I like pineapple on my pizza, okay? that's the, You could do this with turkey on Thanksgiving. You could do this as an appetizer wine or a wine as you slowly uh, move into red during dinner, this with roasted squash, pasta with squash, any kind of fall vegetable, this wine will be great with. If you like this video, if it helped you learn more about wine, subscribe, like it. Cheers.